Guys, the break week is over. I'm gonna quickly get into this, but first I just want to say that any sort of single negative vibes that I was feeling throughout this week with no chapter at all, we were going through a break, not even a long drought, but whenever that sort of thing happens, you know how it feels. So when a new chapter is approaching and it finally drops, any single sort of negative vibe that you may have been feeling throughout the week goes away. We got 11.15, man. We got 11.15. I also want to say that I'll put some pictures up right now. I don't know how much I can show, but in my hands, I have the One Piece Color Walk Compendium. It is the New World Tawano. I believe this is volume two. I'm not sure which one it is. It doesn't say it on the book, but it does on Amazon. I got to check later. But the, re the reason why I bring this up of me having this and being able to hold this is a big book, by the way, is that I can't wait for the next volume to be released of this volume three, whatever it's going to be called, like maybe, um, you know, Road to Laugh Tell or or uh, Final Saga, whatever. These Final Saga color pages that I have been blessed with looking at every time a new chapter drops are amazing i need physical prints of every single one of them it's gonna take a while because i'm sure like this this volume two right here uh new world tawano is what what year was it 2010 2010 to i believe like the beginning or the middle of wano that that volume three is not coming out for a while, but I best believe I will be one of the first. I don't know. <laughs> I'll be one of the first people to buy it. I'm sure, because every you you seen these reactions every time when a new chapter comes out that I react to that contains one of these color pages. It's fire, especially uh, the. Well, I'm sure all of them are like what two pages, two pages worth. But one of my favorites, apart of the of the final saga that is a color page has to be the one with all four emperors and it, i believe it's even featured in one of the anime episodes it was that good that toy animation put it in a one piece episode you know what i'm talking about all four emperors lined up together was fire all, all four of the new ones so i can't wait for that there's also is it in here no it's not it's not in the one that i have I'm sure they'll put it in the next one, but it's the one with Sanji doing that really dynamic kick. That's some really crazy perspective that Oda did right there. That was that was kind of insane. There's some others too that I can't think of right now. But man, I'm I'm so glad to have this. So yeah, I'm I'm waiting for that. However long it may take. But anyway. Do we get a color page here? Let me check. Let's see. We're getting into uh, into the chapter now. Okay, no color page. What's the title? Continental Fragments. Continental Fragments. Oh my god! Yo, wait, wait! Okay, so obviously we could probably, what's the word, infer what that means based on the title alone. That's kind of a spoiler. You, you might want to skip that title if, uh, if you know the context behind this. The world is sinking. What if during the Void Century, I mean, of course, the, uh, back then, before joy boy fell along with his crew along with his gang yeah there was a lot more land in the one piece world oh snap yamato's going everywhere okay so the the holy inari shrine pilgrimage volume 5 getting a bento from hiyori and otoko going everywhere man the note what's the note auto you know what's really funny auto doing music for film red and all that other stuff I think Oda even made a reference to it, joking about it. Like, their names. <laughs> their names is just, you know, backwards. Otto's recent concert at the National Stadium was incredible. The world-traveling pop princess keeps outdoing herself. Yo, he's a fan, too. Of course he would be. Dang, no no color page. I was just gassing up the uh, the color walk, but that's okay. So she... Where in... <gasps> what? Flower, Flower Capital Wano. I heard, I heard this was a banger chapter, too, and we're starting off at Wano? The flower capital Wano. It's hard to believe this foreign transmission is reaching us. That's crazy. They have one of those? Th oh, yeah, they, yeah, they do, they do, they do. Because they had it in the in the work camp in the prison. Now, you may be wondering how he may came to be known as a pirate, and we're continuing off after he revealed that he was the first pirate. 
He was the first pirate. And he's a he's an Elbaf giant. He's a Viking. He was the first pirate and he was like this Viking person. Like a clear ra- Look at the Okay, hold on. I I I'm cutting myself off right now. Too hype. Look at the Jolly Roger in the center of the flower capital. That's sick. But what was I saying? That's such a strong Vicky the Viking reference. Cause he Oda wanted to make a Viking manga and then shifted it to being more of a pirate manga. And now he's bleeding more of those concepts that he originally envisioned into the current story of his pirate manga through Joy Boy being the first pirate, but he's also an Eldab giant, which is a reference to Norse mythology and Vikings itself. That is it's so cool to see that. Like it kinda gives me goosebumps sometimes. We found the snell in the castle among Orochi's possessions. So you were a pirate, Joy Boy? And he was I keep forgetting because he he has information now. He has the logs. He he read Odin's Odin's uh, journal. So has Yamato. Yamato probably knows a, even more because she's read that. She's read that journal religiously. That is, that is her Bible. That is Yamato's Bible. That is his Bible. Just like Luffy. You know of him, my you know of him, my lord. A jail cell at G4 Naval Base. G4 Naval. Uh, used to be uh, this used to be the old Marine Ford. Bro, is that the fake Luffy? Hold on. It is X fake Luffy. We know his name? I might be a fake fan. I don't, I don't remember him having an actual name. Demaro Black. Joy Boy, who cares? I bet he could easily beat him, right? I bet he could easily beat him, right, Captain Kid? He's posing as <laughs> What? He's just he's just still in everybody's flow. What is he? Drake? Bro, whole ass comedian Comedian. He is a comedian. Well, that's Chameleon. The man's already dead. That's our captain. The only thing bigger than his confidence is his belly. Yeah, I'm clearly a million times tougher than this Joy Toy. Yeah, you say that while you're buying bars, bruh. It's Joy Boy, boss. Yo. They're posing as kids, crew. Why? Do they not know? <laughs> Do they know? It, it's been all within one day, right? Kid, kid got demolished by Shanks. That chapter is going to be animated soon, by the way. Where are we? Back at A-Kid? Do bear in mind, I have only access to a handful of poneglyphs. <sighs> Can he decipher them? But their combined narrative clearly chronicles an unbelievable history about a great war in a distant past. Okay, so we know about this. It's kind of hyped that he's going to reveal it right now. But at the moment, we know this. We know this, but it's a revelation to everybody else in, in the world of One Piece. During that period, Joy Boy faced an enemy... Joy Boy faced an enemy, the organization known as the World Government. Wait, isn't that us? <laughs> Got the dummy looking character like, hey, isn't that us? Well, he did say he was a pirate. Bro, but the, in, in the context of back, of back then, eight to nine hundred years ago, pirate was more... Probably, yo, if he... Oh my god, you know what I'm thinking? Because if he's... If Oda's bringing back concepts... If he's really dishing out the concepts and putting them in the spotlight like Vicky the Viking stuff, if he brings up Peace Mane, if you know what Peace Mane is from the original, you know, pilot of One Piece, that would be amazing. If Joy Boy shows up and he's like, I I'm not a pirate, I'm a Peace Mane, and then everything got bastardized and pirate was really seen, pirate and Peace Mane could not be dis distinguished anymore. And it was just, no, you're a pirate, you're evil, world government taking over now. That would be kind of cool. If he brings back that concept, I, I really would love to see that if he did that again. Vegapunk? Ganon is mad. Back then, they were merely the Allied Powers, a temporary co coalition consisting of 20 separate kingdoms. Do we know all those kingdoms by name? Oh, he's... Whoa! <laughs> My dude's walk is insane. I'm standing up. I'm standing. You see his walk? Yo! <laughs> my, my. Look at my dude! The snail phones are passing out! He thinks he. He thinks he's like that. He thinks he's Shanks walking aboard the White Bear crew. Pass. Like making all the. Making all of them go unconscious. Dude, you're not like, you're not that guy. You're not that guy. You think you're hard because you're making the snails go to sleep? It is kind of hard, though. Like, he's walking and you got, you got the, the Conqueror's hockey just spreading everywhere. But, bro, come on, dude. You're not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. 
making the snails fall asleep. Ooh, what was that? Look at this. Look at <laughs> Yo, silhouette alone. Yo, I'm standing up, bro. I I'm ascending right now. Hold on. Oh my god, I've never I never stood up for a chapter like this. Which is crazy, like why why haven't I bro? It can be assumed that an alliance was the only feasible way to oppose the formidable faction to which Joy Boy belonged. Look at this background, bro! He was in there! He was ten toes standing on business! <laughs> bro, by himself! By himself fighting the 20 game. This must be symbolic, but if it isn't that goes hard, bro. That goes hard. I, I don't want to look at this too long because I don't want to be tinfoiled hat trying to decipher like what his clothes could have looked like. Like, does he have the same shorts as Luffy or something like that? No. Let's let's just keep it. <laughs> let's just leave it alone for now. Look at my guy Joy Boy. I wonder if that was his real name. I wanna. I need a full name reveal or something. It was something D something, right? And his title was Joy Boy. So I I just want to know what that was. Oh my God! All right. Whew. I'm afraid that the cause of this conflict still eludes me, so I do not presume to judge the morality of the combatants. I can however say that this war was a clash of two opposing ideologies. I'm sitting back down. I mentioned earlier that Joy Boy was born into a fantastical civilization. He didn't he didn't say he didn't say advanced. He didn't even say advanced? He said fantastical, it was a lot more than that. That, that's TCB's translation. I, I'll wait until the official comes out. I'll, I'll read that too. But fantastical? Dot 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 from Zunisha? Zo New World. A fantastical civilization once so advanced that it is hard to believe it existed over 900 years ago. Yo, if he said ridiculous, that'll have been, that'll have been even crazier too. <laughs> A ridiculous civilization. Just like the, the Nika fruit. She's the new, she's the new, uh, what, what is the title again called? King, monarch, whatever. I don't know. The weapons that existed during this century-long struggle. He's bringing up the ancient weapons. Please, yo, show us what show us what all of them look like. Give us silhouettes. If I see silhouettes of every ancient weapon, um, besides you know, um, besides Poseidon, if we get silhouettes on the other two in this chapter, come on, or or some strong descriptions on the other two during a century-long struggle are far beyond our modern science. That's amazing. This is the greatest One Piece chapter of all time. He's out here looking like Wario, bro. Look at Foxy. He's talking about some. F f f f <laughs> what? What's that peanut headed fool say? Oh, boss, you're making me hungry. Such technology is baffling even to a genius such as myself. He's so big headed. Poof, poof, poof. Bro, look at this fool Foxy in 2020. That's two references to Long Ring Long Land back to back in 2024. How does it how does it have relevancy today? Today from two weeks ago? How? How? Is the next chapter gonna be a reference to the Davy Back fight? Or will we get that in Elbath? Or will we get will we get Straw Hats versus Red Hair Pirates? And therein lies our problem. So, oh wait, 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 so the problem, I'm, I'm trying to predict stuff before he even explains it. Such technology is baffling even to such a genius as myself, and therein lies our problem. Our problem, that their technology was so advanced, that it threatened, it threatened the status quo, it threatened everybody else, everybody else's status quo. I don't get it, alright, I'll just let Megapunk explain. Back at the lab, put it, 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 gotcha. Stussy. Stussy's about to pull off a Monet. I said it I said it last time. Uh like a few chapters back. I was like, yeah, she might be gone. And uh, let's see. Somebody's wheezing right now. 
Is that, a? Uh, oh, it's Edison. Huh? It's me. Edison? Kaku looks out of it. Lower the barrier and hightail it out of there. She's not making it, bro. <sighs> I shouldn't have looked. I shouldn't have looked, bro. He's right there. Get out of there. Get out of there. I should have looked at one panel at a time. Oh, my God. I, I pseudo spoiled myself. He's right there. But I can't. What if something happens? What if something were to happen to destroy a crew? He's there. He's right there. They're all knocking the snow phones out. How many are there? Are they like surveillance uh, versions? I'm going to be honest with you. There ain't no point in the barrier no more. Not when there are monsters on the island who can ignore it. They're all, they got that hockey walk. They all have the Shanks hockey walk. We've done all we can for them. I'm sure they'll make it somehow. How much longer, Jinbei? My apologies, we're almost there. There's nothing to apologize for. We were busy. He's talking to Sanji? Still carrying Zoro. <laughs> Is that you, Zoro? You're gonna get it later. Bro. <laughs> I, I don't even consider you fighting Luchi as a major fight, bro. Get in there and fight one of these old heads, man. Now hurry up. They're moving their ships to the blockade in the northeast coast. You guys are on a cloud right now. Just just Kuda, Kuda burst, please. Land, land on that Viking ship. It'll be all right. That thing is made out of... That thing is probably made with Adam's wood. I'll never forgive you if we get blasted out of the water all, after all this. That's not me still saying that? She's saying that to Zoro? Because he was taking his time? Oh, it's getting serious now. They're like... Usually they joke around about Zoro getting lost. They're like, bro. Bro, if you... If you cause us to... To get blown up out of the water... I swear. Because <laughs> you like to get lost. And you like... You, you like to do all these shenanigans. Even Luffy's heading back, bro. <laughs> Luffy's not trying to fight the girls, say, or do anything on this island anymore. He's trying to leave right now. Zoro, Zoro taking his time fighting Luchi and stuff. Like, no. Transitional panel. That's good to hear. I was worried Stella would never for, uh, forgive me if I let him get caught. And you know what I wanted to mention earlier in this recording? I'm, I've been looking back at my other recordings that I've been editing and trying to upload. And I was so oblivious to the fact that this man was already dead. It was only confirmed to me when, I think it was the previous chapter or the last two chapters, where it was like, oh yeah, if my heart stops, this recording will play. And I think I was still coping even after that. I was like, he should be all right though, because his brain is still alive, right? I, we don't know, but his body's for sure dead. So yeah, as if, now get your ass out of there, <laughs> Sanji. Is that Sanji or Nami? But I don't know what to do. But I don't know what to do with myself. Huh? Now that Stella's gone. Oh, no, no, that was, uh... That was Edison Edison telling uh, Stussy to get out. Now that she is gonna pull... She's saying no, she is gonna pull Monet. Not the Pedro moment. You gotta live, no. No, she got done dirty by Luchi and then she deals with this. Get inside that bubble with Kaku. <laughs> Look at Kaku's face. I haven't even read this yet. Wait. Now that Stella's gone, who am I meant to live for? I have no purpose. Because that was her creator. Man, live for the Straw Hats. Live, live for the satellites. Ka Yo, Kaku's face says a thousand words right now. <laughs> are you serious? That's a powerful panel. These are two powerful panels right here. Cause that face really says a lot. I've never seen Kaku look like that ever. Ever. I mean, I mean never. Whoa. Whoa. I don't even want to, oh, we got to continue. I'll get back to that. I don't know what to think of that. Oh, we got some action down here. Don't let him use his swords. This geezer can cut anything. And I forgot, I forgot how he is damn near the size of Oimo and, and, and Kashi. San, Sanji getting laid out. Whoa, what's going on? She's still in giant form. Wow, that's crazy. Sense the living voices. What? What? Sense the living voices. Look at the detail on oh, my man's Gandhi. He has the hardest design. Back kick, the back legs. The kick with the back legs. Insane. Bonnie. Did he cut her? Oh, she got, okay, she got out the way. Frankie MVP moment. How many is that? 
What's the count? Who's keeping track? It's his arc. This is his arc. You see that wind up on his head? That's on full blast right now. Because he's non-stop. This man is the Energizer Bunny, bro. He does not stop. No way. Who's... No, who... Seriously, who's keeping count? Because I need to know. This is the umpteenth time he's had an MVP moment in this arc. Are you serious? It was Saturn. It was somebody else, I'm sure. Now Venus, bro? Shrinks down. Cut the... Wow. Cut the head of the ship. That goes hard. <laughs> Their ship design goes hard. That's insane. I... Yo! This is damn near Mihawk. This is Mihawk levels, bro. What are we talking about? It stretched that far? Hmm? I can't miss... I can't maintain the story of the future for very long. Wheeze, wheeze. The Void Century ended with Joy Boy's defeat, okay? I'm sorry, Joy Boy. How much do you intend to save Vegapunk? He's leaving? Yeah, he's not He's not trying to be busy fighting. That's so funny. Like, like this information is so... It's so dastardly and dangerous that they they're not even trying to be busy fighting these guys right now. They're just trying to get to the root of the root of the uh, of the problem of this of this video, and they're trying to destroy it. Spread page down below. These panels go hard too. I love these both of them. So they're two key. They're they are two key figures within Joy Boy's life. So he okay. I think last time I was like, is this just one of many Iron Giants or is it the Iron Giant? I think this panel. These set of panels kind of answers my question to that. He might be the Iron Giant. The one and only. So that's that's very interesting. Like, putting this right next to Zunisha? Crazy. But sp spread page. Ooh! Yo! The highlight of this chapter is Venus, bro. You see the detail on that? There are too many life forms up, up here. Did he jump that high? Did he jump that high? There are too many life forms up here. He's just gonna slash it? This, this large panel, what am I seeing? What the aftermath had grander consequences. I'm not looking at I'm not looking at Dari, I'm looking at these dialogue boxes. The wake of that ancient conflict scared the world, and those scars never healed. Okay, now I'm gonna look at it. He did. This is Mihawk level. Zoro, get in there! Oh my god! Get in there! It's not yo, no, no, no. I was like, okay, it's pretty interesting that Sanji is fighting against him. Maybe Zoro might go up against Mars. Or uh, Moltres, whatever his name is. No. After seeing this, after seeing this, I don't want to see Sanji paired up with this dude. I don't. You gotta get there's another spread. Brother, if Zoro doesn't get, where is he? Is he is he up on this part? I think he is. I think he is because this is the area with the with the palm trees in the jungle, in the jungle area. That's probably where he was fighting Luigi. He needs to get in there. He needs to get in there. Seeing seeing a Venus feet like this, I better see Zoro on the next spread page. What the? All the seraphim? Uh, speaking of the devil, bro. <laughs> if they, ooh. Ooh, what what if the what if S what if S Hawk gets in there, uh, right before Zoro does? S Snake is still in the bubble. I forgot. Man, man, oh man, this is a, this is a lot. This is really a Mihawk level feat. Dude, I I wanna I wanna apologize. I'm a little too late, but I wanna apologize for peeking the mic probably a dozen times already in this video. I can't help myself though. You see this? Is it not warranted? Is it not? Like, <laughs> what, what are we talking about here? Look at this. Are you kidding me? This is too much gas. You know why? We're getting all this in the background as we get <laughs> Void Century lore by Vegapunk himself. Bro, what, what else could you ask for? We've all known travel between islands can be excruciatingly difficult. Wow, this is small font. The seas, the seas one must traverse are so vast and perilous 
Most people are content to live and die at their place of birth, never experiencing any culture other than their own. And this is where he brings up the, what, what's the name of the chapter? Continental something something? He's about to reveal that the, the world was once one. One piece? No way, if it goes there, if it goes there, I swear. There is there's a very detailed, there's a very large and detailed panel to the left. I'm not going to look at it though. But that looks like straight gas. I, like, it's in my peripheral vision and it looks like gas. I haven't even seen it yet. What island is this? It's, the The houses look familiar. Isn't that a bit obvious? Yeah, <laughs> everyone knows the seas are dangerous. That is common knowledge to us now. But it wasn't like that a thousand years ago. Zoro's hometown. The, the place Zoro trained as a kid. My guy. Bro, why, why are the students not practicing three, uh, three style? What happened? They, they fake fans. Come on now. The cataclysmic uh, ecological disaster occurred during the void century what the great cataclysm we go on fire force <laughs> we get into fire force territory it's gonna get a lot more ridiculous on the, the power of the imagination oh yo look at this wait what is this what what is that the ancient kingdom Underground. <laughs> La I mean, it basically is. Laftel, it, it is underneath. It's in, It's under the sea. It's at the sea floor. Somebody definitely made a theory on that. They predicted that. They predicted that. I forgot who. I forgot who. I need credit. I need to. I need to see the credit for that. Cause I gotta go back. I gotta go back and give them and give them props. Yo, I was thinking, okay, we're underwater. Is that the Ryugiku, whatever uh, the Fishman Island Kingdom is? What is that? I see something underwater. I was thinking it was Fishman Island. I was thinking it was Old, old Wano. I was like, what is this? The ancient world was swallowed by the ocean. This is where this is where Roger and his crew went on their final voyage. If this isn't Laugh Tale, what else could be, bro? We got a Laugh Tale reveal. What kind of fish is that? <laughs> is that one of the all blue fish? Or something? I don't know. We are now living atop the remnants. What? We are now living atop of the remnants. Continental fragments, that was the title. Of the land masses that once were. Bro, say the name. Say the name of this kingdom. All the fish from, from each sea. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. We're getting a detailed look, even even if it's fossilized, we're getting a close-up detailed look at the ancient kingdom. Because all we've ever seen in the past of experiencing this manga was just a, was just a diagram of it. A small little, uh, what's the word? I don't know the word. You, you know what I'm trying to think of. A small little diagram, a small little para, what's it called? Para, whatever. We only got that. We're seeing this thing up close, dude. The architecture looks very gothic, kind of. I love this right here. This is very Ghibli. If you ever seen a, it, it's a very, it's a divisive movie. But if you if you ever seen Ghibli's uh, Castle in the Sky, I'ma say, er, Earthsea too. Er, Earthsea is actually that's what came into my head the, towards the end of Earthsea. It actually looks like this. Say what? And the revs. Where's Dragon? Where's Dragon? Dragon, I swear, if you're looking east. If you're looking east, I swear, I'm, I'm a kitten. Oh, he's, oh, there he is, there he is. He's looking west, okay. So he's looking west. Dot, dot, dot! <laughs> we got a dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Even from Sabo too, he's taking up after his master. He's taking up after his mentor, bro. They both saying dot, dot, dot. Yo, he, yo. Like mentor, like pupil. The world of a millennia ago. Yo, Vegapunk is talking about a thousand years ago now. This is even more than what, what, what Robin probably knows. But the world of a millennia ago sleeps unseen at the bottom of the ocean. If we get another spread page, 
Okay. Okay, we have to cool off. We have to cool off. I'm sure the last page... With a chapter like this, the last page just might be... I'm glad to see all the revs are good. I gotta reread this, bro. I usually don't reread One Piece chapters cra crazy enough. I'm gonna I'm go back on this. I know it's hard to believe on my word alone. Dude, you're Vegapunk. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people trust you instantly. Bro, Kokoyashi! But there, yo, oh my god. I can't, I can't continue on like this at a, at a good pace of reading this chapter when he's bringing up throwbacks like this. Full Kokoyashi panel. Oh my god, no Chico. Holy, okay, okay, come on, come on, focus, focus, focus. But there really were multiple vast continents back then. Dude, Pangea Castle. That brings up Pangea Cat. I really want to, that, it's one piece. The One Piece is going to be a physical thing. Somebody somebody said that maybe the One Piece is the Eternal Flame, which Vegapunk based his Mother Flame off of. That's really good, but I, I really think if the One Piece is a physical thing, it's going to be much grander, much larger than that, like on a grander scale, you know? It might just be Luffy evaporating or somehow getting rid of the flooded water that's causing sea levels to rise over and over again unnaturally to just go away and then the the multiple vast consonants actually start surfacing again once again and that's going to be the one piece you know like it, it's been covered up it, it's been covered up oh my god that is so beautiful that is so beautiful of me just like talking about it right now and then it's coming into my head like because the world has been separated by different fragmented continents the continents have been fragmented off into separate different pieces. And the only way to put it back into one piece is through whatever Joy Boy is going to do. Whatever the current Joy Boy Luffy is going to do. That's going to be what the one piece is. Or maybe not. That feels that feels way too obvious. Cause if I'm like... It's putting it right in your face. That, that's kind of putting it right in your face. If that's what the one piece is, like sure. But I still want to be surprised. That explanation is way too obvious. I don't think Oda would. I don't think Oda would would do us like that. <laughs> Just like put it right in our face, right there. Like, oh, that's the one piece. The world, the world, uh, unflooded. This is insane. Hey, Nochiko, where do you think you're going? The whole world is at stake. Fill me in later. I gotta check on the tangerine orchard. She does not care. He is speaking right now. This change in the world helps explain how the century of history could be censored. Yeah, they're censoring with the sea, bro. Oh my god. A feat that seems not impossible, but makes sense when you consider the undeniable conclusion all the data points to. Within a mere century, the average sea level rose by a staggering 200 meters. What? Are you kidding me? T -t 200? A warship's only 60 meters tall. No wonder the old world disappeared. Dang. Oh my god. Dang. Hey, stop listening to this crap. We have work to do. <laughs> it's throwing the Marines off! <laughs> Bro, this is like the... This is... They're watching an iceberg video right now, and they're just at the tippity top. Imagine when we get to the abyss, and they find that out, they're gonna stop being Marines. They're getting distracted for their Marine work right now. They're gonna take those caps off by the end of this video. The Seraphim and all those in prison Cypherpole agents were spotted falling out of the lab building. We gotta rescue them. This, is this Mock Town? Bro. The moment I see them stop laughing and then I see serious faces on every single one of these bots, that's how you know it got real. That's how you know it's really endgame. When you see Mock Town not mocking anymore, bro. <laughs> or maybe not, who knows. Did you hear that? All his tall tells keep getting taller. The old farts lost his marbles. What a joke. The Sakura Kingdom. Oh my goodness. How are we not done? Maybe I, I've been taking too long reading this chapter. It's re Is that really possible? <laughs> Kareha? Oh. Yo, I need to... I need, Yo, tell your secret on how you live so long. That can give us some, some insight on these on these girls. Eh? Even though the world still finds a way to keep things interesting. Uh, who is this? Oh, the... The, uh... The Baroque Works agent. I forgot her name. Funny thing, her ability isn't even a double fruit, I think. It just, it's kind of like Django with his uh, hypnosis. They they are literally the same type of character in that regard. 
which is pretty funny. It's like, why do y'all y'all have abilities like that? And y'all can still swim, what? <laughs> it's a pretty, it's not too much of a strong ability, but still. The mountain is around 200 meters. That mountain, this mountain right here. Where are they? Oh, Whiskey Peak. Oh, they're, they're, they're back at Whiskey Peak. Oh. Huh. You're saying something that could be, you're saying something that tall would be submerged? That's awful. How many people died? That begs the question, how and why did such a flood occur? World government, emu. Naturally, your first inclination might be to assume it was some kind of natural disaster. He already said it earlier. He said it wasn't uh, natural, right? However, I can say for certain that it was no such thing. It was a man-made calamity. The Great Cataclysm. <laughs> Luffy's about to become a uh, Boncho Man <laughs> in a couple chapters, dude. Yeah, in a couple hundred chapters. He's not. He's not gonna be. He's not just gonna be Sun God, nigga. He's gonna become Sun Boncho Man. You can't be serious. If this catastrophe was brought about by natural means, there would be records denoting early warning signs several centuries earlier. It was a severe world-altering event, after all. All my research into meteorology, geology, ecology, and atmospheric science confirmed that there was no such natural buildup. It is impossible for such a drastic change to happen spontaneously within a span of a mere hundred years. Bro, they got busy. <laughs> Busy bag, oh my goodness. Meaning the cause lies elsewhere. My suspicion my suspicions were confirmed a few days ago. He came to that revelation. Wow. When I analyzed the world's current sea levels, okay. Dang, I was not expecting uh I I wasn't in the community back then, uh looking at One Piece videos and theories like that. I hardly ever look at One Piece theories, so I never knew there was a theory out there about the world sinking like this. I, I just thought it was normal that the One Piece world was like this, but no. Uh, I, and I never I never really reread chapters like that with hints that lean towards the world sinking. So this is this is real fresh to me in a way, but it's still it's still so good, and it makes sense now that I'm that uh people are people in the community. Are pointing this out like previous chapters ago like all the way back at Al Alabasta where Vivi talked about uh, a, a certain a certain region or a city in the country that was flooded or, or something like that so I'm like wow <laughs> Oda, Oda planned is that far back this would be hard to accept but that disaster 800 years ago was caused by ancient weapons technology capable of sinking the world so Uranus right yeah it had to be Uranus the only the only giant weapon we saw in the air that was that took out Lucia and caused the sea levels to rise, yeah, yeah, it had to have been Uranus. And that very power, that very same firepower, evidently still exists, just waiting to be used again. In other words, that great war which ravished the world during the Void Century. Oh my God! Look at this! Look at Pangea Castle, man. Emo. Emo. The flower garden. It's still ongoing. No break? The genius sheds light on a forgotten history. He's saying that the war never ended, bro. He said, nah, that thing is still going. To the world to the world government? The war is still going. As long as there are people like the D-Clan, people who are trying to look into the history, it's still going. It never ended. It never ended with the world government forming. It's still going on right now. Bro, and look at the look at the ringed eyes. You always see Eam Eam Sama with the ringed eyes. Always. Like are they just always awakened? Are they always awakened like 24-7? Or is it like a Mihawk situation where it's just like natural ringed eyes? Either way raw <laughs> either way so raw he this man is spilling the beans and they're they're just chilling in the flower garden with the butterflies like <laughs> bro like, <laughs> they are phased what is this sound effect oh this is this is uh i think it's go 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 it's like a menacing sound effect you, you, you usually see this in uh jojo 
Oh, what's gonna happen then? Wait, if we get if we get this sound effect, what's gonna happen? Oh wait, wait, we got the go 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 go. Something's gonna happen next chapter. Hold on, I'm just waiting to be used again. It was already wait, huh? So what happened at Lucia wasn't Uranus? That very same. Hold on, hold on. That disaster 800 years ago was caused by ancient weapons technology capable of sinking the world. And that very same firepower evidently still exists, just waiting to be used again. Just waiting to be used again. It was already used in the Lucia, unless that wasn't Uranus. Unless that wasn't ancient weapons technology. <laughs> wait, wait, what? The Lucia incident wasn't... Lucia wasn't destroyed by an ancient weapon? If that wasn't an ancient weapon, what's Uranus gonna be? What is, what is that gonna be? Hold on. Wait, wait. Wait, maybe I'm misinterpreting this, this dialogue, but it sounds like it. I don't know, man. This panel, this panel's insane. <laughs> this panel's insane. Oh my god, we got these back to back. We got these back to back. Are you kidding me? No Zoro, no Zoro at all, man. Where are you? You can't have this man do a feat like this and you not pop up. You got Mihawk Seraphim reacting to it before you did. I don't like this. Zoro, Zoro hasn't really done anything this arc, in my opinion. Any, anybody could have, Jinbei could have fought Luchi, bro. Like, <laughs> Jinbei could have fought Luchi. He's already taken care of one cat like that. He could have, he could have fought Luchi, bro. Nah, if we don't see if we don't see Zoro getting matched up with this dude, I don't know. Uh, before I was thinking, oh, it's really unique. Sanji's fighting Venus, and then perhaps Zoro could fight Mars. Uh, but uh, after seeing this, no, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't ever want to see that. I don't, I do not want to see that. Like, no, 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 no. We need this matchup. We need this matchup. This is a perfect matchup. If I, if we don't come out of Egghead with at least one physical interaction between. Zoro and Venus, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna cope with that, man. He did this. He did two. F he did two of these kinds of feats back to back. He sliced her ship twofold, maybe threefold up here. Jumped up. He has some hang time, dude. He's playing for the wrong team, and then slashes. Oh my god, cleaved. I don't know how many times I gotta say this. This is a Mihawk feat. These, these aren't Venus feats, bro. These are hooves, brother. <laughs> these, are, <laughs> these are hooves, brother. Because look at this. This is more than a feat. This is a hoof. Dang Sagittarius. All right. That's enough of that. Or is it? I don't know. Didn't I say I was going to get back to something? I mean, I, 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 I got to get back to a lot of this. this. This was so much, man. We got a whole, we got a whole lot. There, there's Shanks hockey walking, knocking out snail phones. We got, we got the king himself in a, in a 2024 One Piece chapter? Oh, there, yeah, yo, oh my god. Yo, he was really, he was really up against all of them. I need to see that, man. If this is getting hinted at, we need a flashback sometime. Yo, you, and, and he's, it's confirmed he's an Elbath giant. It is confirmed he's an Elbath Giant. We are definitely going to get some sort of Joy Boy flashback when we reach Elbath. And if we get a glimpse or a teaser at that in Egghead, that'll be even better. But best believe, at least on Elbath, we're going to get something. We will definitely get something if he's confirmed uh, an Elbath Giant. Bro, they're really hockey walking. Ganon doing his own thing. This chap, this chapter. It started off at Wano. This chapter. It started off at Wano is crazy because all we've ever seen of Wano is the the beginning of this of this uh of this story. It was outside of the actual chapter. Now we're getting it. <laughs> now we're actually getting it. It only feels a little piece of it. My goodness. I I wanted to see what Yamato had to say cuz Yamato actually was re really reading that book. It was actually really reading that journal. I really wanted to see some sort of panel or dialogue, but this is this is just as fine because Momonosuke has also read a little bit of the of the journal. And that's his father's journal. 
That is his dad's journal. You be best believe he's been reading that thing too. So you were a pirate, Joey. You're like, yo, oh my god, okay. Okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I'm done. It, it's damn near an hour video. My goodness, I'm not gonna ever get this uploaded. No break. One week. I'll see everybody in a week. I'm out. Goodbye. Take care of yourselves. One piece.